I'm Alex here at Tropical Acres Farms, and uh, today I'm going to talk about something that a lot of customers have been asking us lately. Today is February 22nd and 23rd, um, and people have been asking why they are seeing flowers on parts of their mango trees or on some of their mango trees, but not others. And they're concerned, wondering, am I still going to get fruit this year if the trees have not flowered at this late point? And um, it's nothing to be alarmed about. It's actually um, um, going to probably extend our season. So behind me here is a Chino mango. Uh, Chino is a variety from uh, the San Fuegos part of Cuba. It's a very good mango that we, uh, we've been growing for a while. And the tree right now, you can see, has uh, panicles that have already emerged has open flower and even has fruit set. You can see a panicle up in here that has mangoes that are already beyond pea size. Uh, and on the other side of the canopy, I believe there's more. But what you'll notice is there's lots of this canopy that has nothing going on right now. Um, however, right now we're receiving some cool weather here in South Florida, and that's gonna push these trees to finish blooming on most of the remainder of their canopies. And uh, We'll focus in here and I'll show you um, some of the tips which are starting to push out now. You can see that already we've got a panicle coming out pretty soon. And over here, we've got more. Some of them, the bud is just starting to swell, just starting to poke. You see this one here, you can see that the tip is green and we still have branches on this tree that are dormant. Um, the bud isn't even uh, swelling yet, but my expectation is that these buds are going to start to swell over the next um, week to two weeks. And I would think that this entire tree or almost this entire tree, there'd probably be a few branches that hold out, is going to be lit up with bloom while maturing uh, or starting to mature little mangoes on the panicles that came out earlier. And I think that a lot of you that are watching here in South Florida should see the same thing on many of your trees. It doesn't mean that all of them will bloom or have a 100% bloom, but don't be, uh, don't be uh, disconcerted because you're not seeing flowers on all parts of your tree right now. So this, this season, do you think it's a, a later bloom than a previous year? No, I, well, than some previous years, I suppose, but I expect that Mango season will kind of start at its typical time. Uh, we'll have perhaps a very extended crop and perhaps even second crops on certain varieties, meaning like you have mangoes that are starting to ripen on Angie mango at the end of April or, or May. And for some trees, you'll have basically a almost three month Angie season because it'll just kind of blend together. But on some of them, you'll have a distinct crop that lasts until some point in June. And then perhaps on the same tree, uh, you'll go several weeks or even up to a month, uh, depending on weather conditions, where you've got developing mangoes that aren't ready to pick yet. But then you end up with uh, you know, a second crop on your Angie tree uh, in July and maybe even the beginning of August, which is kind of neat too. So I had uh, somebody ask me about, um, say two or three different trees and they, in his opinion, would maybe flower at different times, say by a few weeks, but they seem to ripen at approximately the same time. Uh, and I was thinking, well, maybe it's because of the size, like one, one mango might be a larger, say pound and a half, two pound mango, while some, something might be less than a pound. Would that be part of it due to size or are there other They're conditions? different varieties? Yeah. Okay, yes, because the amount of time it can take a smaller mango in many cases to mature is shorter uh, than it can take uh, a slightly larger mango to mature. Approximately and how many days for the shorter mango? It depends, like some, short, yeah. some small mangoes like Neelum can take very long, but uh, mangoes like Philippine or Rosy Gold 90 something days before you're seeing the first ripe fruit um, from the time that it has set the mango, depending on how warm the conditions are when the mango is maturing. So that can be stretched out, right? If you were in California, your 
uh, Manila, as they call the Philippine there, or the, the if you have a rosy gold, it will take longer than 90 days, most likely, for that fruit to mature. But here in South Florida, especially here near the coast, where our nighttime temperatures aren't as cold up to the spring as they are in the, in the middle part of the state, the fruit can, the smaller mangoes, especially those early season varieties, they'll mature really rapidly. Um, so what like about, I said, let's say that larger one. So on average, a little 90 days for a smaller mango. And how about for the larger one? Uh, it can be 100 and tw 120 sometimes, depends yeah. on the variety. Um, like I said, depends on temperatures at night and in the day, uh, as well as um, whether you're getting a lot of sun or whether you're getting a lot of cloudy weather, those things can also um, kind of stretch out the maturity period for uh, different varieties. And uh, it's a big part of the reason why mango season starts earlier in southeast Florida than it does in other parts of the state. So like the coldest areas they grow mangoes in Florida are like up in, at least on a commercial scale, uh, you know, up in Brevard County, um, Merritt Island, their season starts at least a month and sometimes more, often more, than uh, later than it does down here. And that's because while those little mangoes are maturing, the temperatures are a little cooler at night for a, at least a big stretch of, of their development. And that limits how quickly the fruit are, are getting to mature size. So. And how long have you had this Chino mango? I think we planted this in 2015 or 16 and um, it was a, a fairly small tree when we planted it from what I remember and it actually took a little longer than the other trees that were planted in this section before it started bearing. Uh, first couple of years it only made like a couple fruits but we were I was not like excited about this mango like I was thinking this is going to turn out to be mediocre the literature on this thing was from 120 something years ago and they weren't very impressed with it back then. I thought it might be too fibrous as well. And I tried the first one and I was just like wowed by it. I'm like, wow, this is really good. It's a high quality classic flavored mango comparable to something like Bailey's Marvel, um, you know, or Spirit of 76, something like really good, not just some plain Jane, boring, you know, classic flavored mango like an Irwin or something, uh, not to insult the Irwin lovers, but <laughs> anyway. Um, and the fiber wasn't that bad. There was a little bit, but nothing absurd, like maybe comparable to a Hayden, you know, uh, in terms of fiber. It's a better mango, much better tasting mango than a Hayden. And it became really productive. In the last, I don't know, three or four years, this tree has borne heavy crops. Um, and uh, they're nice size uh, fruit, too. Mid-season? No, I would call it an early season mango, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, even though it's a you know, decent sized mango, I would say more early early to mid. It's not as early as like Edward and some of these other ones, but it is a vigorous tree, so it needs some yard space and everything. But I'm very happy that we planted this. And, um, you know, it just, uh, luck of the draw, I guess, it turned out to be a good variety without knowing a whole lot about it. So this is the, uh, actually the west side of this uh, Chino tree and quite a bit of bloom coming out of this side, but also, um, a good amount of fruit set from some of these earlier emerging panicles. Yeah, there's considerably more flowers in bloom on this west over side here on yeah. this side for sure. Yeah, but um, really good fruit set. Let me hold it still there, and, and you can tell it's a round mango. So um, there's another panicle with some fruit in there. Yeah, a few of them. Yeah, and the and the pan and the uh, branches on this side of the tree that haven't started to or had not uh, flowered yet they're pretty much all swelling on their tips at this point. So we're going to get a whole bunch of more uh, inflorescence coming out really soon. All right. Well, thank you for telling us about this Chino mango. And if you want to get one, come down to Tropical Acres Farm, see Alex, and he will be glad to hook you up. Thank you.